We turn now to Congressman Jim Jordan, ranking member on the House Oversight Committee and a member of the Judiciary Committee, and he joins us from Columbus, Ohio. Uh, Congressman, as we've said, no one really has seen this report just yet. Uh, can you actually claim vindication? A lot of Republicans seem to be seeing that here. Well, we want to read the report first, but what I do know is that to date, not one bit of evidence to show any type of coordination, collusion, conspiracy between the Trump campaign and Russia to influence the election. So that's been, that we, we've sort of known that for a long time. Or at least none that rises to beyond a reasonable doubt and can be well, prosecuted. Well, un understand this, when this thing all started, back in May of 2017, the Justice Department had already been looking into this issue. For, they, they started in 2016, late summer 2016, and all the way up until the special counsel is named uh, in May of 2017, there was no evidence of collusion at that point either because when we deposed Lisa Page, when we deposed Jim Comey, they both told us up until the point that Comey left the FBI, there was no evidence of collusion. Now, 22 months later, there still doesn't appear to be any evidence of any type of coordination between the Trump campaign and Russia to impact the election. Uh, we'll read the report and we'll see what it says, but that seems to be the, the, the facts as we know. But, so you no longer believe that the Mueller report is a hoax or a scam, as the president has called it? I, I've not called it that. In fact, the president, no, the president has president let the, called it that. The, president, the president has but let the Mueller report play out. I mean, understand this, Margaret. Everyone got what they, what they go back to May of 2017. All the Democrats, all the Republicans in Washington, D.C. said, we need a special counsel. And they got the guy they wanted. They got Bob Mueller, the guy who everyone said is right next to Jesus, can almost walk on water. They got the guy they wanted. He now has his report. And, and it right. looks, and, like, and it's, you tried it looks to file like it's not going to be the of impeachment against the deputy attorney general who, who helped put him in place. Sir, you have been a skeptic of this program from the beginning. That's because, so that's do because you Rod now Rosen's, accept its well, findings and believe it has integrity? Well, all I'm saying is the Democrats, when they, they now, it seems like they now think that this is not going to be the bombshell they thought it was going to be. So they're launching all kinds of new fishing expeditions. They bring in Michael Cohen, for goodness sake, their first announced witness of the 116th Congress. Michael Cohen, a guy who's going to prison in six months or six weeks for lying to Congress. They bring him in, and what does he do? He lies to Congress again, we think at least seven times. So Jerry Nadler sends 81 letters to 60-some different people. So mm -hmm. they're launching all kinds of new fishing expeditions to find more well, information because they're bound and determined to go after the president. But, you, but Congressman, you amazing... know that, as we said at the beginning of the program, 34 people were indicted, three companies, aides, including the National Security Margaret. Advisor Michael Flynn, campaign chairman Paul Manafort. They have admitted Margaret. to breaking the law. So what can you admit... Central that this was not a witch hunt. What was the central charge of the Mueller investigation, of the special counsel investigation? It Any was links to, to coordination between Russia and anything related? Ex it was, no, it and was to else look at any up? type of coordination or conspiracy or collusion between the Trump campaign and Russia to steal the election. Remember what Adam Schiff said, we have more than circumstantial evidence to point to collusion to do just what the charge was, but we have not seen right, any but, of that. But Congressman, because you're deciding to put aside those indictments and guilty pleas, it, it appears you're picking that. and choosing this when you're, you're, you're picking the outcome you like and looking no, away not. from the ones you didn't. No, I'm not. Those people, they did things wrong so, and they're going to have to pay the consequences okay. for that. We understand that. But that wasn't the charge of the special counsel investigation. It was to look at that one fundamental issue. We'll read the report and see what it says. But all indications are that there is no, and, no, and I've seen no evidence. Now, almost two and a half years of them investigating, I've seen no evidence of any type of coordination between the Trump campaign and Russia to impact the election. Sure. And neither of you. Well, uh, but that's not the, the question. Uh, we're waiting to see this report. But, but more broadly, I mean, for Americans, should they look at this? And, and while, yes, there's no indictable offenses that we have seen yet from the special counsel related to the Russia probe or, or the, the allegation of conspiracy with Russia, there are all these instances uh, that ethically look questionable. The, the president's son agreeing to meet with Russian intermediaries to get dirt on Hillary Clinton, uh, a number of different things along the way that came to light in the course of this investigation, not disclosing to primary voters that the president was seeking business deals in Russia. Do those things morally sit right with you? Look, we'll read the report and we'll see what, what uh, the special counsel has well, to say about that. Well, those are things we that. already know, and I'm asking you ethically, morally. Here's what I know about the president. In two, uh, in two and a half years as president of the United States, we have seen 
regulations cut. We have seen taxes reduced. We've seen the economy growing at an unbelievable rate. You're we have diverting. seen the lowest unemployment in 50 years. No, I'm telling you the truth. I was with the president last Wednesday in, in, right here in Ohio, and I saw the response he got from citizens in our district. The people lined up on the streets cheering him because but those they, specific they, they, examples, we now have Gorsuch and Kavanaugh you, you on the court. You feel ethically are fine with you. I'm saying that wasn't the charge of the special counsel investigate. We're, we're focused on Mr. Mueller's report. And I hope it's made public. I hope Bill Barr, is he said he's going to follow the law, make as much public as he can in consultation with Rod Rosenstein and Bob Mueller, and we will read the report. But what I do know is it's been an amazing two and a half years under the president's leadership, and I think the American people appreciate that. And I know the central charge of the special counsel investigation was to look at collusion, and there has been zero evidence, zero evidence of any type of collusion between the Trump campaign and Russia to influence the election. Other things that have happened, people who've done things wrong, they're going to be held accountable for that. That's the way it's supposed to work in this great country. And that's, but, but on the central issue, no evidence whatsoever. Congressman, thank you very much. We'll be back in you one bet. moment. Don't go away.